Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got some more mystery Blu-rays to unbox. Hey guys, so thanks for coming back to the channel. If you've been following me recently, you know that I've been trying to pump up my support of my local video store, who obviously is struggling uh, as a retail location during this coronavirus pandemic, and that is Bull Moose. They have locations all over New England, but mostly in uh, New Hampshire and Maine. And I've been trying to prop them up, and I placed another order the other day. If you spend 30 bucks on their site, you get free shipping. So I could have placed an order for 20 bucks and spent $5 on shipping, or I could spend another 10 and get two more mystery Blu-ray packs. And I figured, you know what? People kind of liked that first video. Let's do it again. So I grabbed two more mystery Blu-ray packs. I don't know what are in these, completely sealed. Um, again, randomly selected from their stores. Last time I talked to them, they actually told me that like some of these are trade-ins that come with damaged cases. Some of them um, are just movies that maybe aren't selling that well. So that's how you might end up getting like a rare Blu-ray copy in here or something that's a little bit odd outside of your collection that's not so mainstream. And that's kind of what I like about it. So I've got two more, which means I should have uh, 10 Blu-rays. Uh, we'll see how many they actually gave me because last time they gave me a few extra, but we're gonna rip these apart and, and uh, see what's in them. So stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy this sort of stuff, movie collecting, physical media, home theater, 4K, Blu-ray, I think you'll like the channel. Please consider subscribing. Make sure you leave the video a like and let me know in the comments what you guys thought about some of these that I grabbed out of this mystery case and uh, maybe give me some details on movies that I don't know, which you guys were great about last time. So with that being said, let's jump into the first package. All right, guys, so I'm opening the first package. And like I said last time, if you do want to try these, or you just want to check out Bull Moose in general, I will leave a link down in the description to bullmoose.com, their website. They're shipping every day. They ship super fast. They have some really good deals on certain things. They sell used copies, so you can get a good deal on uh, some used stuff if you need that, and that helps with the pricing a little bit. And uh, they're only open online right now, so it's a great way to support them. And these grab bags, these mystery grab bags, are also available online. So if you want to roll the dice a little bit, you can do that. So I've just opened the first box here and the first movie I have is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. This is one that I have. I actually have it on um, Blu-ray. Uh, so that is a duplicate for me. Number two here, I've got Jason Statham. I've got Crank. I actually might not have this on Blu-ray. It might be in a, like a multi-pack, but I don't think I own this on Blu-ray. And that's actually a really fun movie. So that's a cool one. Um, next up, we've got the Infiltrator. I don't know anything about this. Broad green pictures. Obviously, I have no information on these. I just have the disc, so that's the interesting thing. The Infiltrator. I'm not sure what that is, so let me know in the comments. Um, and on the fact that I don't have the cases, I know that drives uh, some of you guys nuts, but basically what I do with these is I'm just going to buy a bunch of uh, blank Blu-ray cases, or maybe some people will donate them. I've been talking to some people who are like, I have cases laying around. I'll send them to you. Like I could buy them off eBay, but they're pretty cheap. You can get them for like a dollar a case. So all I'm going to do is throw these in a case, toss them on my shelf, and I'll live without the artwork for now. And then eventually down the road, print my own artwork, but I'm basically getting dollar Blu-rays here. So that's what I think is really cool. Next one up is Murder on the Orient Express. This is the new one. This is the 2018 release. I believe I have this on 4K. I'll have to double check. I'm pretty sure I do. So that'll be a duplicate there. So, so far two out of four. And then we've got Superman Returns, which I actually don't have on Blu-ray. I have Man of Steel. I have the original Superman on 4K, but I actually don't have Superman Returns. And a lot of people actually like this movie. So that's a cool one. That's a great Blu-ray to add to my collection for the price. And like I said on the last video that I did this, all these are in really good shape like they're in mint condition so pop them in a case print your own artwork and for literally dollars like two or three dollars you've got blu-rays here so uh, i mean part of what you're paying for in my opinion is the kind of 
thrill and excitement of opening up a mystery bag and not knowing what you're going to get. In my last video, I got Force Awakens on 3D. I got a Harry Potter movie on 4K. You just don't know. So that's the kind of cool thing about these. That's why I pay the five bucks to do it because I think it's cool to open them. It's like opening a pack of baseball cards that you, you don't know what's inside. You don't know what you're collecting versus going to Target and picking it right off the shelf. So that was the first grab bag, three out of five. Not too shabby, I'd say. And I can always give away those other discs to friends um, or maybe donate them to the Navy project I work on where we donate movies to the Navy. I could throw those in a case and donate those there. So it's a win-win for everybody, even if I already have the copy. Now opening up the next grab bag. First movie I have is Season of the Witch on Blu-ray. Don't believe I have this in my collection. This will be a new one to me. Is this a Nicolas Cage movie? For some reason, I feel like it's Nick Cage. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what this one's all about. But that's cool. Another one that I don't have. Now we've got uh, Cloverfield on Blu-ray. So I do have this one. I have it on 4K, so that's a duplicate for me. Um, but another cool one that obviously I can donate or give to somebody. Next up, I've got The Infiltrator again. So now I have two copies of this. So now... I didn't have any copies. Now I have two, so now I do have a duplicate. Um, I still don't know what this movie is, but rated R, 127 minutes, broad green pictures. Never heard of it. Let me know, but obviously that'll be going in the donate uh, or friends pile. Um, number four in the pack, I have Lucky Number Slevin, which I actually don't have. But um, this is the movie I was thinking of in the last video when I got Shoot 'em Up. I was thinking of this movie. This has a great cast. I've heard of this. Josh Hartnett, Lucy Liu, uh, Stanley Tucci, Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman, like tons of people in this. And so I have heard good things. I've never seen it and I didn't have it on Blu-ray. So that's a cool pickup for me. And then we have Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. So a Disney Blu-ray disc, which is pretty cool. Um, I do have a Pirates of the Caribbean uh, box set, so I will already have this movie. So this, again, will go in the donate pile. So that second bag, not so great. Um, I did have two new movies to me out of the five and a couple duplicates. So overall, what do we go here? We went five out of ten. That's not bad, 50%. I think last time I got seven out of 10 were new. So, you know, worst case, I paid a dollar. I'm gonna donate it to the Navy or give it to a friend who will watch them. And I'll just throw these in cases, throw them on my shelf. And uh, I'm a movie collector as much as I am a collector of, you know, artwork and cases and all that. I just really wanna have the movie in my library. And so that's why these are a, a kind of cool way to do a mystery unboxing video, have some fun, see what you're gonna get, and also add movies to my collection because Honestly, does the artwork matter to me 100% no. I just wanna know that I can take that physical disc off the shelf and watch it without needing to go to a streaming platform or trying to find it on Netflix or something. I know I have the disc and so now movies like Season of the Witch, Superman Returns, Crank, these other movies I didn't have before, now I have a physical copy and that's honestly what matters most to me. So thanks for watching this guys, just a quick video today. I am still working on the other two Star Wars 4K reviews. I did post A New Hope earlier this morning. So if you haven't watched that review yet, go check it out. Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi are on their way, so stay tuned for those. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications on. And also make sure you check out Bull Moose. I'll leave a link down in the description. Go support those guys, they're great. They're still paying all their employees and keeping their employees whole here during this whole pandemic so that's an awesome thing they're doing as a local business a local small business in the New England Maine and New Hampshire area um, and I, I just really want to keep shouting them out because it's important that they stay open I don't want to lose them and I want to keep giving them business so hopefully you guys will do the same and uh, just make sure you follow me on Instagram check out all the other links down in my description uh, for links to Amazon where you can purchase certain items for my home theater those help support the channel but other than that just make sure you're subscribed turn on those notifications and I will see you guys very soon have a great weekend um, I will have the Star Wars stuff coming this weekend so make sure you keep an eye out for those but stay safe stay healthy and I'll talk to you guys very soon